Now let us consider the following case. So let's say this is U and this is a bank. So you borrow money from the bank. Let's say you borrowed 10,000 rupees. You borrowed the money from the bank at 6% interest. Now after that, let's say this is you again. You deposit this same amount of money that is 10,000 rupees into a corporate fixed deposit. And for this investment, you are getting 8% interest. So if we take U as the reference point, then this 6% interest is your cost of capital while this 8% interest is your rate of return on the investment that you have made. Whereas if we take the bank as the reference point, then they would say that they are getting a rate of return of 6% on the loan that they have given to you. So this cost of capital is what we used for discounting cash flows in the NPV and the discounted cash flow methods. Now we used this in the NPV method as we were trying to find out if the cash inflows are worth more than the cash outflows when we have to pay back the cost of capital to the bank. So we have to pay back 6% interest to the bank. So we were calculating whether at 6% discount rate are the cash inflows worth more than the cash outflows. However, in the IRR method, we are trying to find out what is the rate of return that the project is going to give us on the investment outlay that we have made. So let's distinguish these rate of returns by using different symbols. So for cost of capital, let's use K, whereas for rate of return, we'll use R. So as you can see from this example, you will make money only if the interest rate obtained from the corporate FD is more than the rate that you have to pay back to the bank. So basically, in this example, your profit is 8 minus 6, which is 2% of 10,000 rupees. So for the IRR method, the acceptance rules are first, accept the project when the rate of return is more than the cost of capital. Second, reject the project when R is less than K or the rate of return is less than the cost of capital. And third, may accept the project when R is equal to K. So when the rate of return is the same as the cost of capital, then you may accept the project. So these are the basic concepts of internal rate of return. In subsequent videos, we'll look at some examples 
for the IRR method.